Hello and welcome back, I'm Lincoln, and today is the 15th day of October, which means we are three weeks into my sculpting challenge, and today's prompt was jack-o'-lantern. You can see I made the cool little candy bucket that trick-or-treaters use. All right, I'm gonna put up the rest of the prompt list now. For anybody just joining me, you can see that I've broken my sculpting challenge up into days and weeks, so that at the end of the week, you can create a fun scene. This week's challenge is gonna end with a haunted house door and porch, if that's what you wanna do. If not, you can do something else that's fine too. The point of my sculpting challenge is just to learn new tools and techniques. So if you want to take the prompt in a different direction, have fun with that too. Hey, if you'd like to share anything you've created on Instagram, use the hashtag October3D2022 so I can find your work. All right, let's grab your iPad or some other device. Let's go make a jack-o'-lantern. I'm going to make the candy bucket like a trick-or-treater uses though instead. If you want to see a regular jack-o'-lantern, Look at my video series I have on uh, Sculpt With Me series. It's just uh, a, like a really nasty looking pumpkin jack-o'-lantern. So if you want to do that, go check that one out. Okay, so let's add a cylinder. Now I know it's kind of weird because I pretty much never use the, the regular default sphere, but this time it'll be fine for what we're doing. And we're just gonna, we have to cut a hole in the top of this so you have something to do here. So what we're gonna do is the spear, I'm gonna clone that one first. We can turn one off. Now what we're gonna do is turn that cylinder off, turn on, and we'll select both of these and voxel merge them. And that was probably clear as mud. I'll do better here in a second. Okay, so now that we've had these two, now, what we're going to do is we're going to unselect that one. We're going to select the big one. We'll turn them both on here. Okay, so this one, we're going to shrink down a little bit. And we'll leave a little meat in there. Now, remember, the reason I'm doing this hole is if you don't cut a hole in this, when you go to Voxel Merge and hollow something out, it doesn't work. And I'll have links to that down in the description, too, for my video showing you how to do this. I have a whole series of beginner videos. Okay, so this one, that's the one we need to turn off. Turn that one on, turn this one on, and voxel merge. And it, it always takes a second. It has to think a bit. Okay, so now we got a nice hollow ball. And if you don't cut that cylinder out first, this won't work right. It'll just make the outer mesh, and that's it. Okay, now. Let's see, let's go ahead and move the bottom a little bit. Now, if you push and hold on the view cube, wherever you have it in your setup, if you push and hold on it, it'll lock for you. Because otherwise, if you try to use the move brush and try to do this, it'll do something funky. All right, let's see. Let's actually use the drag brush instead. As you can see, it had that weird thing going on at the bottom. I just need to flatten this up a little bit. And it doesn't have to be perfect. Just a little bit better than, a little more flat than it was. All right, that looks good. If you tap it, you'll unlock it. Now if you go to the side, double click on the side view, we can finish fixing that one, push and hold. Move this up just a little bit so it's flatter anyway. There we go. All right, perfect. And I'll leave that shape right there. That looks pretty good. Let's see. Still got one more little spot I want to fix right here. There. I like it. All right, we'll leave that alone. All right, so the next thing you can do is there's several different things we can go. We can go and put the face on here first if we want to, which is probably the better idea. So let's look at our mesh. And this, we have good mesh. So do the select mask brush. And I'm going to do the polygon. These polygons will work a little bit different on yours, but not a ton different. It's the beta version's a little bit different for 1.66, but not much. Okay, now we're gonna go and turn on symmetry for this. And you'll see the symmetry, if you click in here, this is new too, this is really cool in the 1.66. It actually gives you, instead of that tiny little line that it had before, now it shows you where you're gonna be doing it. So if you change it, it'll change all your different views. So it's really cool. 
I like it way better. Okay, so if we click on that, now we got them both. Now let's do the polygon for the mouth. Like I said, I'm just doing just like the basic, you know, basic Halloween pumpkin. You can totally change this up if you want, or do a regular jack-o'-lantern too. It would be cool. All right, now we got these are all the round points. I'm going to sharpen those at the ends. And if we add a couple, double tap them. Now I can drag up and make the teeth. And maybe one more right here. Ah. Ah. Okay, so I totally screwed up two things on there. One, I don't want symmetry, and I totally did that wrong. Let me try this again. So that's the one thing, and I've mentioned this before, it's, it's the only thing that's kind of aggravating is if you mess up on your selections like that, it will always do that to you where you have to just redo it. You can't just double tap back. So if I had a complaint about this, that would be like the only one. Okay, we're going to make it kind of goofy looking, and that's perfect. I like it. All right, so let's go ahead and select that one. Okay, now if we click on the outside, we will switch your mask. You can also come up here and invert your mask right here too, right there. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is grab the gizmo, and rotate it to the side. Oh, and I totally forgot to, on select mask, if you come into the brush icon, you can do front facing vertex only, and I totally forgot to do that. So, not a big deal. I'm not going to go all back. We're just going to select mask a rectangle and just mask that off. And that will clean it up and fix it. All right, so what I want to do is just suck this in just a little bit. It doesn't need to be much. And that's pretty sharp. I don't know if I want it quite that sharp. So what we'll do is go back in the mask, you click on the mask, it'll blur. If you click on here, it sharpens, so I'm going to blur it a little bit. And go back to the gizmo, and that'll make it look more like what those little, little ones look like. And that is just what I'm looking for. Okay. Now that I have this, I'm going to go ahead and put the paint on it. Since we already have a mask, and it'll make it super quick to paint. So we're going to come in, and... Now, if you have a black like that, looks pretty good. That's pretty good, but I want a little bit, if you add a little metalness to it, just a little bit, and knock the roughness down, we'll get a little bit more of a plastic, plastic color. That looks about right, right there. Paint all, and it'll paint right in there for your mask. Now we're gonna go to the select mask, click on the outside, now we're masked to the other direction. Go back to paint and let's pick a nice orange. Right. I like bright orange. That looks pretty good. Let's try that. See how that looks. That looks pretty good. Now the color's a little weird. That's probably my environment. Let's change the environment to the something outside. All right, so that's a little a little on the shiny side, so let's knock that down a little bit. A little too metally. I got the roughness a little bit. Just want that little bit of kind of that plasticky look. That's perfect. And I'll leave the paint shinier for the mouth and eyes. And I like it. Okay, next thing I want to do, let's see. We'll go ahead and give this some shape now. Let's go ahead and grab the inflate brush. Where is that? Here it is. So I'm going to grab this and just pull it up here. Inflate, and then I'm going to grab the crease brush, pull it next to it, and grab the inflate. So let's start on the side so we can kind of see better what it's doing. Let's do 
this going to go? Now if we use the crease brush on a big size, we go right in between each one of these. Okay, that's perfect. This is what I'm looking for. All right, so in here we can remesh this a little bit, I think. So let's go ahead and give this a little bit better resolution and remesh it. And that's not absolutely necessary to do in the remesh, but I just want to clean it up a little bit. Let's get a good wire. Because I'm going to come in here and grab the smooth brush. We can bring it way down because that's way too big. And basically just want to fix the these a little bit because those plastic buckets are always molded pretty smooth. Now these buckets always have like a little lip at the top, so let's add a torus and I'll shrink it down, stretch it up. And then we're going to come in here and play with the inner and outer radius. Okay, so we just need to get it placed right. So we'll go out just a little bigger. And I want to st stretch this. Oops, wrong one. Stretch this up a little bit more. And we'll come in here and play with the inner radius. Suck it in a little bit more. I just want just a ring. And that is pretty much what I want right there. And that'll work. Okay. Now, I think what we'll do is put the tabs on the side. We'll get those on next. Come in here, we're going to add another cylinder. Let's see, let's go ahead and name these real quick. I'll be back in a second. Okay, now I'm gonna add a cylinder and we'll just shape this into, to scale there looks better. And I'm gonna turn the bottom off, suck that in. You can see we've got a little bit sticking in here. So let's grab this to the side. We are going to smooth this up a little bit. There we go. Validate it. I'm going to trim it. Rectangle. Oops. Rectangle. Just below where you can see it. Okay. Now, I'm just going to clone this and send it over because I've been having issues with the mirroring function right now. It's not working quite right. So. Not the end of the world. This one's pretty easy. They're still working on, on the update, so I'm just being patient. Now this one, I'm going to go ahead and bring up the subdivision on. Now we can put those three together. I'll grab all three of those, voxel merge them, increase the resolution. Okay, perfect. Now, let's just put the handle on it. Add another cylinder. We're gonna rotate it, bring it up, We're gonna put the hole in it, suck it down, then click on the front view, bring it down size wise till we're just right over those tabs where it looks good. And about right there. And you can see there's Kind of the flat area right there looks good so we'll put it about right there okay now let's subdivide that and it'll make it a nice makes it a nice round strap looking obviously that's not quite right bring it down to somewhere in there okay that is perfect use the trim tool click on the front rectangle 
and trim it up to where it's just about right there. That will work. Now, last thing to do is make the little plastic rivets that go in there. We can go ahead and paint this black though. Let's see, click on the right thing. That should have the right sheen that we like. Yep, that looks good. All right. Add a, let's see, this one is gonna be the handle. You're gonna want this later, depending on what you wanna do, because um, I'm planning on being able to move this. So we want that name, named and labeled. cylinder. Now this is going to be a cutter for everything because I want to do the hollow rivets on here. I don't know if you know what I'm talking about with the little brass, hollow brass rivets. Now this you're not going to have to do. This is something in 1.66 if you they're still working on this. It's something really weird. I don't know exactly what's going on. But you see that if you do it more than once, sometimes it'll offset it. Oops, turn it back on. It always flips it off to the side, which is kind of weird. It's just easy to fix at least right now. Okay, that's a little big and we need to move it up. Makes it pivot again. Like I said, you guys won't have to keep doing this. This is just what I'm having to do. Okay, let's make that a little Shrink it down. That looks pretty good right there. All right, so I'm gonna clone that because we gotta cut that out twice and I want those separate. So I'm gonna clone this one. And the first one we can cut through the handle. Also merge, keep it up high so it doesn't look weird. All right, and then the cylinder and the ring. So this one and this one. Box will merge this one. There we go, now we have holes all the way through. If you can see that right there. Oops. You make you guys seasick. All right, there we go. All right, now. And you'll notice here too, if you have paint already on something and you voxel merge and you change the what you voxel merge with is a different color you'll see your paint color is different in this case it's not going to matter with what we're doing so it's okay what I'm going to do is add another cylinder and shrink it way down oops I'm going to cancel go go away I'm going to uh, turn off the edit nodes that's they get in the way sometimes when you don't need them. Bring this down, put it in the hole right there. Now what I want to do is put the hole in this. I'll move it in. And now you can see we just need to shrink it down until that disappears. So we need to move it up. Just get it roughly centered does not need to be perfect. Now we can turn the edit nodes back on because I want that little rivet thing a little bit thicker. There we go. That's just what I'm looking for. Tap on the screen and whoops, I want this one. I want to stretch it out. It's being stupid again. Okay, so that's what I'm looking for right there. And we'll make this whole thing and then we'll clone it, color it and clone it. All right, so this one, I'm gonna go ahead and subdivide it, although it's gonna be so small that nobody's gonna see it, really. I'm gonna add torus. Shrink it way down. Snap it, move it. There we go. 
Got it. Now let's go into the menu, click the outer radius, inner, inner radius, make it bigger, make it look like one of those metal rivets, the hollow ones. You know what I'm talking about? The ones that look like a little brass, little brass hollow rivet. Okay, that's what we're looking for. Okay. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to make that go in a little bit right there. Does it still look good? Just stretch it a little bit. Yeah, all right. Right there is good. All right. Like I said, it's going to be so small, nobody's really going to notice. All right, so that one, let's clone him. Wait for the autosave. Move this one over. Okay, that looks good. All right, so these two, I'm gonna move up just, just so they look better. Let's subdivision, validate. All right, so what we can do is grab Taurus, this Taurus, and the cylinder, all three of those. We're going to voxel merge them. Oops, don't want resolution. There we go. Now with these, we'll go ahead and paint. And we'll just paint them brass. Paint all. And then we're just gonna clone that and merge and send it over. that off four fingers four fingers I'm gonna turn off the grid okay okay now that we have that in there we can give this thing a little texture if you want and we need to color that too so Let's merge these two together. So the ring and the bucket, we can voxel merge. Actually, before we do that, we should paint the ring so we don't have to mess with it. And that one, paint like that one again with the orange. If we're on paint, we can touch, there we go. Paint all. And it is, should be the same. It's because I have a selection darkened, so let's come up here and darken selection. There we go. There they're the same. Okay, so now we can merge those. You can merge those if you want, it doesn't really matter. I'm gonna leave them separate because we can put a little texture on here now. So if we go to the stamp brush, come up here. I have one, now this one, the stamp I have there, that is going to, um, you can find that on Pexels if you want. It's just a skin texture. Just put in, type in texture and you can find one. We do this, you can just kind of drag just a real subtle texture, just like those little buckets have all over it. Now the trick to doing this so it doesn't get too heavy and you don't have lines on the outside, so you see there's it's good i mean there's some lines but that's from that's from actually doing the the t the bigger texture on this earlier we come in here come down i have the fall off custom and you see i have it down to nothing and it just slowly comes up and we have the texture in the alpha we'll get into that a little bit more if you guys haven't messed with it much but that is it right there that makes a nice little jack-o-lantern bucket and that's pretty true to what those look like I think anyway all right that'll look really good I'm gonna use this on the the end of the series um, to make a ghost trick-or-treater that's gonna be my choice for sculptors choice so be interested to see what you guys do if you guys would like to share anything on my Instagram use the hashtags October 3d 2022 so I can find it I've already got one 
one sculptor has been putting some things on there and you should go check him out because he has a really really funny sense of humor on the ones he's been doing so they are really cool all right well it's got some paint on the inside but i'm not going to worry about that all right if you guys are enjoying these videos and you're having fun doing this please like and subscribe so i can get you guys some more and i will see you next time all right thanks